Good morning. Morning, bro. Morning, bro. Morning, bro. Nice to see you again. Well, I'm at my my room at Faculty of Law because <coughs> every Wednesday we have a meeting at the Department of Jurisprudence. How are you? Good, Prof. How are you? Good. Fine. Everything's okay. What about uh, the questions that I have given given to you uh, last Monday? Uh, I think we all submitted already. Okay, <clears throat> fine. Sorry. Okay, now we tend to uh, discuss about. Classification of law. We discuss about private law and sorry, public law and private law. Shall we begin? Yes, bro. Yes, bro. Okay. Yes, okay, fine. The distinction of law from the prescribed interest. So the distinction is made in terms of interest. In terms of regarding, it's just the same. public law and private law. Alpian, as a Roman jurist who made a di distinction, Alpian in Latin, in Latin, his name is Ulpianus, not Ulpianus, Ulpianus because he is Roman, he's Roman. Don't say European, Alpian. Alpian is a Roman jurist who made the distinction. What it is state, is state his way. Do you understand? The lady? No. No. Oh. Now it is rare to find jurists who speaks Latin or who understands Latin. I don't speak Latin, but I understand Latin. Because I think it is not spoken um, language except the conclave in um, pop election. Conclave is a pop election. You know pop? Pop. Yes. Yeah. Father. Father. Pater. In Latin, you call it father. Pop. Who is the Pope today? Holy See. The Pope is Holy See. Today is St. Francis. Pope Francis, right? Today. Right. In Vatican. Yeah. Pope Francis. Don't say, where is the, the, the Pope today? Joe Biden. No. Joe Biden is president elect. Joe Biden. Well, he is the second Catholic who, 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 who assumes a presidency in the United States. The first Catholic president was John F. Kennedy. Joe Biden is Catholic. 
devout Catholic. Um, the, the rest of presidents are Christian. Usually, usually, the way soon positions publicum at privatum. Publicum use escort at statum. Rerum manuspectat, privatum quod ad singulorum, singulorum utilitatem, sun enim quedam publici, publicei utilia quedam privatum, privatim. Well, I think here. But I see the plain, not plain translation, but I think it is loose translation this way. The study of law covers two areas of laws, public law and private law. Public law deals with Roman state administration. Private law deals with individual interests. In fact, one serves public interests, another serves individual interests. Is it still valid? I guess so. Well. It is still valid. So we have to know that government should not interfere with individual interests. The government is not permitted to order that everyone should, should marry, no. It is, it is not um, the area of government, government, um, um, government administration. Whether someone wants to marry or not is not the government's business. It is the individual individual's business. A priest. Is celibate. You know celibate. A priest, Catholic priest. I mean, is celibate. You know, celibate means celibate means that someone doesn't marry. Celibate. The celibacy is a. Uh, I think it is a. Catholic doctrine and Christian Christian reference is not celibate. So a priest is Catholic, Catholic, Catholic. Um, what what I say? Um. A priest is a Catholic. A nun is also a Catholic. Both nun and priest are celibates, are celibate. What about brother or Frater, or in French, frère. You know, they are also celibate.
From the statement, it can be inferred that use publicum or public law is concerning with the state function and on the other hand, use privatum or private law deals with individual interests. Okay. You know, infer is intransitive verb. So there's no direct object infer. Cry. Cry is also um, intransitive verb. So you have to know whether the verb is transitive or intransitive or both. Some, sometimes there are verbs that are both transitive and intransitive. But in this case, infer is intransitive verb. Intransitive verb, there's no um, direct object. Okay. I buy a book. Buy is transitive verb. Book is direct object. I drink. Well, I drink. Now, I'm drinking. Drink. In this case, I use intransitive verb, but I'm drinking water, plain water. I use the word drink as transitive. Okay. I eat. It in this case um serves to be intransitive, but, but but I eat rice, I eat potato, I eat French fries. You know French fries in British English it is called chip. Please be careful, French fries is, is an American term for chips. If you go to Australia, you don't find French fries, but you find chip. Like if you want to go, uh, if you were in the United States, you want to apply a job, for example, don't say uh, you have to submit curriculum fee. No. Curriculum fee is only for academic. Like in university, I have to submit my curriculum fee if I want to give lecture. But if you want to apply job in the United States, so uh, you have to submit resume instead of curriculum fee. Resume, not resume, resume. This from French word, resume. Please be careful. Sometimes there are many differences between British English and American English. Since I studied in the United States, so I'm accustomed to, to speaking uh, American English instead of this English. Okay. We go on. From the statement, it can be inferred that use publicum or public law is concerning with the state function. And on the other hand, use privatum or private law deals with individual interests. 
two reasons of distinction. Well, I use the word distinction. I think is is um, more simple than differentiation. It's too long. First, state's function is to exert its people will, to exert, you know? What does it mean? I think it comes from um, Latin word, exertium. I don't say to implement, no, no, it's different to exert its people will. You know, in democracy, in democracy, um, the will of the people is, um, um, what, what, what we say, the ultimate power. The ultimate power is the will of the people. In Rousseau's, Rousseau's word, Polong General, Polong General. From the word Polong, we, we can find the word voluntary, voluntary. But in France, Fallon General is general will, I guess, in 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 in, in English, general will, Fallon General. So please be careful. Contra in France is different from contract in English. So if you you heard about Rousseau's book. Do contra social. Contra in this case is agreement in English. It's not contract because contract in English always deals with business. Contract always deals with business agreement that doesn't deal with business is not a contract it is only agreement that contract is is also uh, called agreement agreement that deals with business is a contract so to the state's function is to exert, sorry, exert its people will. Its people will. A state is established to maintain national life, protect its enemy from outside promote social welfare and empower its citizen. Any state, any state. It is not necessary that we have to, to, uh, to claim that our state, our Indonesian, um, <coughs> Indonesian, type of state is welfare state no 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 longer welfare state i insist that indonesia is no longer welfare state it has been long time ago before act number one of 1967 indonesia was welfare state but since the enactment of foreign investment law in act number one of 1967 
I guess Indonesia is no longer welfare state. Now, Indonesia, we call Indonesia is, is um, Indonesia is what we call empowering state, I guess. To empower the citizen. Well, some of some of you, some of students get scholarship, for example. What is the idea of scholarship? What is the purpose of scholarship? To empower students to get uh, to enrich their knowledge. Not to get a title. Not to get a title, but to enrich knowledge. I was granted scholarship from Fulbright um, in 1985. Fulbright scholarship is an American scheme to get um, students around the world um, to study in the United States. At the time I was granted Fulbright scholarship. Why? Because Fulbright is a, a program of the United States, United to, um, to invite students around the world to study in the United States that to enrich their knowledge. And I got my LLM degree from Washington DC, from American University. American DC in 1986. Only one year, yes, only one year. A state established to maintain national life, protect its enemy from outside, promote social welfare and empower its citizens. The state, in this case, is a facilitator in national life. The state is a facilitator in national life. But colonial ruler exploits, exploits the colonies resources, especially natural resources. The colonial ruler exploits colony natural resources. So if you read the Declaration of Independence and Ends of America, um, you can find that um, the United States of America is established to promote social welfare and empower its citizens. So the state is a facilitator in national life. Of course, in exerting such function, legal rules are called. Not only social norms like ethics, religion, 
and customs. No, it is not enough to administer national national life with such norms. No, it's not enough. So that should be legal rules. What does call mean in this in this, in this sentence? Well, I call you. Just call me bitter like that? No. If you read uh, some articles, so you have to know um, the, the exact meaning of every word by the context, you know, context, not only the text, but context. Say the word revolution, you know, revolution. Have you ever heard the word revolution? Revolution, yeah? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. What does it mean? Revolution. Depends. Yeah, it depends. In, it, in, politic, in politics, it mm -hmm. means radical change. Radical change. But in geography, it deals with um, the earth rounds rounds your, rounds the sun this revolution okay please you have to um to see the context the context you know Sir? Uh, yes, okay, please. Uh, I just want to ask uh, the second point. Uh, so he said the, uh, protect its enemy from outside. Do you mean like, protect its people from outside enemies? This one? Yes, that one. From outside? What about from inside? Oh. Like separatism? Sorry? Is it like separatism? Well, this this way, in international law, there's uh, the word insurgency. You know, belligerency. Belligerency is uh, the conflict, the internal conflict of state. Like at a time, um, a chair separation, uh, separation movement. Um, what, uh, well, with the movement of Freedom Aceh at the time. It is like belligerency. So, well, in this case, the state should subdue, you know, subdue uh, to the, the, the belligerency. Okay? If there's a disturbance in internal or or there's a internal internal um riot for example the state should um the state should um i mean should make their should make order order you know Enemy, it is in this case, it is outside, outside the state. But if belligerency at a time, we, we, we cannot say it is enemy. It is belligerency. 
this is the idea, the first idea. But in fact, in fact, there's also enemy of the state. You know, like Indonesia. Indonesia, um, our fundamental ideology is Pancasila. And then those who want to change Pancasila with other ideology, they are, they are our enemy. Okay, they are our enemy. But in this case, we have to, <clears throat> um, if they, they, if they are, they attack, okay, the, uh, the army, sorry, armed force, you know, armed force consists of army, navy, and what is it? Air force, okay? Armed force. Arms force consists of army, navy, and air force. What, a, what about the police? No, police is not is not an armed force. No, it's different. Well, if there's there are some people who want to change. The ideology, this is um, the business of the arms force to, well, to make reorder, to make the reorder. So this resilience, you know, resilience to defense, to defense the re resilience. Okay. Is there the question? Yes. Yes, Prof. Okay. Thank you. The legal rules may be adapted from practices in social intercourse. The legal rules may be adopted from practices in social intercourse. Well, why? Because the practices reflect um, social spirit. The legal rules may be adapted from practices in social intercourse, but there are some legal rules that are derived from the scripture. Like marital law. Marriage is, is not only contractual religion. Marriage is also <clears throat> Um, religious religious affairs so it is derived from the scripture
but, but perhaps in Hinduism, there are some um, some rules derived from Hinduism. This one. I have told you about law and other social norms before the midterm test. Still remember that? Ethics and then also um, customs. Yes, sir. When an organization becomes clear, which consists of which consists of diversity of tribes, cultures, and customs, there should be rules other than those are prescribed by society. Because um, there are some different different cultures different customs um for example in bali in bali if there is um there's a couple who are from different levels For example, um, Kusti Ayu, for example. Kusti Ayu is Satria. You know, in Bali, there are, there are four keys. Four keys. First is Brahmana. Ida Bagus, Ida Ayu. The second is Satria. Gusti Ayu, or sorry, Ana Agung. The third is Basia. And the fourth, the fourth level is Sudra. Sudra, the fourth case, Sudra. Ordinary people. Sudra is ordinary people. For example, Gusti Ayu. Whose case is higher than Madi, Igusti, Ayu, Sulani, for example. Igusti, Ayu, Sulani. I think it's, it's not, it's not very, very, Igusti, Ayu, Kartika. Igusti, Ayu, Kartika. Kartika. He goes to Ayukartika, for example, fell in love with Made Arsana. Made Arsana is an ordinary uh, people. Idayu is in higher, higher case than Mari Asana. Sometimes, you know, that the, the Kartikas, either Ayu Kartikas family doesn't agree, doesn't approve, doesn't give consent of their marriage. And then they say Malagandang. It is a custom. Malagandang. What does it mean? The couple run away. Run away. Or 
the um, Maria Alsana kidnaps kidnaps between question mark quote unquote quote unquote Maria Alsana kidnaps Igusti Ayu Kartika that you know the scheme has been approved by the uh, Kartika's family and then they go to Kartika's family and um, want to forgive forgiveness and then okay this is a custom and there should be sexual intercourse before that is it fornication so sexual intercourse is made before marriage Is it fornication? Yeah, from from your uh, Christianity or Islam, I guess it is fornication. But from their the custom, it is okay. So if such sexual intercourse outside marriage is prohibited means that this culture or this custom will be eliminated. This is Indonesia. This is Indonesia. We have many customs. You know, in Panaroga, in Panaroko, there's what, what we call Kembla. Kembla Gembla is a youngster, youngster um, who is made as, what did I say, as a woman. Because, because of what? There's, in Panaroko, there's Rayok. You know Rayok? Reok, Reok Panorogo. The administrator of Reok is called Waro. Waro is prohibited to um, to make social in, uh, sexual intercourse with a woman. So he doesn't make sexual intercourse with his wife. So that should be Gambla. Gambla is made as a woman and then the Waro um, makes sexual intercourse with the Gambla and men. Is it homosexual intercourse? Sure. But it is a custom. It is a culture. If such an in, a sexual intercourse is prohibited, so perhaps we have to eliminate Reok Panorogo. And Reok Panorogo now is claimed by Malaysia as their culture. We have to say goodbye to uh, Reok Panorogo. Please be careful. This is Indonesia. You have to know about many cultures in Indonesia. Especially, you know, that there are some practices, religious practices that, that are far different from <clears throat> from Christian, Islam, or Hindu, or Buddhism. 
these local religious practices. Excuse well, it is pa. not necessary to explain here. Excuse me, Pa. There are many um, local religious practices. Okay, this is Indonesia. And we have to accommodate cultures, customs, and many others. Why Joe Biden won the presidential election? Because Joe Biden accommodates many tribes. <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. So Okay, please. Uh, I want to have a question about that um, war or something that it comes from Panorapa. Is that yeah. um, a diversion from what is not regulated means uh, it's not, um, I mean, like, it's not regulated doesn't mean is it allowed? Is that one of that one? I mean, when it's regulated, so it means that you are cannot doing this, but when it is regulate uh it's not regulated you are can allow and can do anything you want i mean it's the homosexual in well, this term of um custom is actually in a moral you cannot do it but uh, since it's not regulated so they can uh, interpret it wrong it's okay just... well i i want to, to say to you i want to explain to you that state okay is not allowed to interfere with private interests, mm -hmm. with okay. individual interests. Homosexual intercourse is individual interests. Okay? The okay. state should not, should not interfere with this case. It is okay. not state's business to interfere with, with that uh, that case, but it is not it is not acceptable or it is unacceptable if homosexual is legalized by law. No, it is contrary to natural law. That those who want to to uh, to conduct homosexual inter a sexual intercourse well why not why shall we punish them no actually no we cannot we cannot uh, punish them no no it, it, it is their business it is their business Mm -hmm. The state is not allowed to interfere with um, individual interests. It's private interests. As I told you just now, that the state is not allowed to order every man, everybody um, gets married. No. It is not the state's business. Okay. Okay, bro. Okay. So, Thank you so much. let let your custom be a custom. But if the custom disturbs of a national order, that's a problem. Is that all one of Charo? Sorry? About Charo from Madrid. Charo, that's okay, fine. Charo in Madura, you know, Pak Medi, Pak, Pak Sumedi has a, a lot of story, stories about Charo because he has some research, some research, well, he has conducted research on Charo at the time. Uh, he studied anthropology of law at the time and his teacher research was about charo charo means 
um, you know, murder. Okay. But yeah. we have to consider that it's not it's not a in in a bad sign. Chato is conducted to defend um you know defense prestige you know defense prestige it is not a bad um it's not evil for them but our penal code prescribes in article 338 that it is murder okay it's murder but the punishment is not is not um so severe well i i have an experience to handle child at a time when i was junior faculty i was assigned to handle child child case at a time you know this is a ridiculous story but in it is the fact and you know my um my objection on it the, my brief in in my brief i stated that charo should be considered as a culture it is the fact that the accused has committed murder. And I hope that the accused will be sentenced, um, not so severe sentence, but as light as possible. And you know, he was punished um, two and a half years, two and a half years, I guess. Well, I was glad. I was glad that that he was punished um, for three, uh, two and a half years or three years. I I I forget. It. But you know. The verdict, uh, sorry, the convict told me, well, it is, it is because his mandarin, it told me in, in um, Indonesian, but Indonesian and mandarin, it's korang pak, korang mas. What do you mean, korang? I want to be, I have to, to be punished for five years. No. Korang, mestinya saya dihukum lima tahun, Pak. This is, this is the, the real story. Well, should I appeal? No, no. Well, you know, I was surrounded by, I was seized by their victim's family. At the time, and well, as they 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 didn't know me. Well, I I, I went to the back back door, and I returned to to school to faculty of law. And uh, and uh, at the time, Pak Vishnu and Pak Indiar Soro asked me that, what about it? Well. He Spanish um two and a half years. Oh, good, good. Not that way, but but in the and but we know why. Because he wanted to be punished five years. <laughs> this is a real real case. This is a real case. Okay, this channel. You, Gabriel, who asked me about channel, Gabriel or who else? Me, yeah, 
Yes, me. Gabriel, yeah. I recognize your voice. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, I'm um because I cannot on cam because when I on cam I cannot ask you and my video or my Zoom start to exit accidentally. I mean like automatically shut okay, down. Okay, no no problem. As long as you 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 can hear my voice. Yes, sir. No problem. No problem. So if my my video is off, you can see perhaps you can see my when I I was young, it was in, in the Netherlands and my wife. Wow. Okay. I was young at the time. Um 40, 40 years old. Uh that's around nineteen nineteen ninety. Oh okay, nineteen ninety. Okay, I miss nineteen ninety. You were not born yet. Of course. <laughs> yes, of course. Yes. Is that the tulip, sir? This tulip, tulip parrot. Uh, one day you 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 have to go there to Kirkenhof. Okay. Okay. These kinds of rules are created by the state to exert its function. Because if we have different cultures, different customs, different tribes, so that should be a unified unified rules. Unified rules for the uh, um for the public interest. But that the customs should be accommodated in such a way that it it doesn't violate um tribes tribes or um, spirit this is an ontological reason why public law comes into being ontological reason means the reason why the reason why this is ontological reason. The reason why public law comes into being. Well, Isam, you you like Milan, Isam? Isam? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you like me, Milan? Yes. Uh, well, um, no. yes. I used to yes. like Milan, Milan, a long time ago. But since Milan um, was left by Carlo Ancelotti, well, I don't know. And Milan sold Kaka at the time. Well, I. I well, I don't uh, like Milan anymore. And I turned to Premier League. Premier League. Premier League is the best, sir. the best league in the world. Well, I like Liverpool. Thank you, sir. Uh, I'm a fan of Liverpool, too. Yeah, okay, the same. Liverpool. I like Liverpool. Second, the errors to be prescribed. First, state function is to this one. First, 
state's function is to exert its people will. So this is the first, first reason that why there are two, two reasons of distinction. The first reason is state's function is to exert its people will. Now, second reason is the address to be prescribed laws of various interests the interest prescribed by law may be differentiated into public interest and particular interest Public interests deal with togetherness in social life. Togetherness. What's the difference between togetherness and cooperation? cooperation and togetherness. So togetherness and cooperation. We cooperate in some action. We cooperate in doing some action, sorry. Togetherness is, I, I, I guess in my, my opinion, togetherness is a, a general, is, is more general. Based on public law, the authority should preserve public interest. Based on public law, the authority should preserve public interest. On the contrary, in a social life, an individual is free to get along with his or her peers. So the state is not allowed to limit that you, um, that its citizens to, to get along with specific specific um, groups no well in the united states as well as in in the uh, netherlands india netherlands india era at the time you know that a white a white man was not allowed to marry colored people in the United States. If a white man married a colored 
um, call people. So perhaps um, there's a there's some um, sanction on that. This is not this is not the business of state. Racist is not allowed. Racist is contrary to human life. Okay. Individual is free to get along with his or her peers. This is in Indonesia. That in the religion, in the really, really religious marriage is not allowed in Indonesia. So one should change his or her religion to get married. It is ridiculous. You know, it is ridiculous. If, if, um, in Islamic, Islamic um, marital law, that a um, well, a Muslim woman wants to get married, a non-Muslim woman. It is not allowed to go to KUA. It is okay because because it is um, Islamic law under Islamic law that non-Muslim uh, women is not allowed to marry non. Muslim, non-Muslim men, and they cannot go to KUA. What about if they go to civil registry? Well, the civil registry should um should accept should register in my opinion that what what a religion what a religion is it not possible that a man um, who is Muslim falls in love with non-Muslim women, is it possible? Sure. Is it possible that Christian Christian man falls in love with non-Christian women? It's possible because love is a many splendid thing. Love is love. There's no limitation of love. Okay. But I advise you that before falling in love with with another please you have to um to pray pray according to your religion 
I was Catholic. And there are many girlfriends of mine. As they know that I'm a Catholic, well, um, they, they went away. It's no problem because I cannot, I cannot change my um, religion at the time. And then um, when I, when I was in love with my wife now, she's not Catholic, she's Pentecost. Pentecostal. Well, I was Catholic. That we, uh, I told her, okay, if you get married, we have to, to go to Catholic church. And she told me, pray, pray. I pray and you pray. And God will, God will lead us to what church, pray. She did not refuse my invitation, just advised me to pray. And I prayed, I prayed. Then suddenly there's something that I had to go to, 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 um, <clears throat> to accompany her to the church and then I like the church and and then well I want to uh, to go to this church then we were we were um class in a church not in a catholic church and I changed into christian until now so pray pray according to your religion well, because I think her prayer is accepted by God. My prayer was not accepted by God. Because, you know, before that, I was smoker, drum master. And my, my life was ruined, I guess. That there's, that there's no sexual immorality, no. Just drink, smoking, and, and no, no, I, I don't, gambling, no. Gambling, not only doing, um, drinking and smoking. Drinking and sometimes I was drunk uh, and said, whoa, whoa, whoa. And sang sang a, a song in the midnight in the midnight. One day I will show you my my foot uh, my photograph when I was uh, a drunken drunken master. This one. When I I drank beer. Oh. You face it in the wrong camera, sir. Ah, okay. You see? Yeah. I oh, drank yeah, beer. Okay. Very cool, sir. Very cool. <laughs> Very thin. Young, okay. well, and free. <laughs> you like to exercise, sir. 
Well, it, it was in 1970, 76. Oh, my. <laughs> How does it yeah, taste? Boy. It's very... <laughs> But it's different from this one. Oh yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> no bad version. <laughs> okay. Saturation only involves to make the relation. So, such a relation is called a particular relation and is prescri prescribed by private law. Prescribed by private law. Now, public law. In traditional classification, constitutional law, constitutional law, it is public law. You know, my sergeant hukum is constitutional law. And I got my master's degree in here in Erlanga University about administrative law. And then I went to United States and I got master's degree there from a Washington College of Law, American <clears throat> University. I got um, my master's degree in international business transaction law. So there are three areas of law. And my dissertation is about pattern law. So consumer law, administrative law, and business law, and pattern law, intellectual property rights. Okay. This is the reason why I supervise a doctorate candidate who write constitutional, constitutional law. Administrative law. If you go to, um, what I say, a minority or a municipality, and you want to, um, <clears throat> You want to ask an um, ID card, for example, it is under the administrative law. Now, if you are Surabayan, you go to Siola at Kendengkali, <coughs> sorry, at Kendengkali, and you, you can get an um, ID card. It is, it is administrative law. Civil Register is also administrative law. But consular law deals only with, uh, for example, um, the, the hierarchy of uh, hierarchy of laws. That's uh, consular law. The competence or jurisdiction of every branch of uh, government. Criminal law, yeah, it is public law. It is traditional classification. Criminal process law. 
we have um, criminal process law in Act Number Eight of 1981. In Bahasa, we call it Kuhab. Kuhab. It is our criminal process code. Our criminal process code, QHAP. Sorry, QHAP. Not QHAP. It's, it's American action, QHAP. QHAP. Currently, there are some areas of laws whose enforcement carried out by the state because these laws are concerned with public interest. Consequently, these types of laws are classified into public law. Environmental law, for example, perhaps consumer protection law, capital market law, You know, capital market or in, 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 in the United States, stock market. Stock market, but we, we call it capital market. Capital market law is also public law because it is implemented by what we call Baba Bum. What is it? Um, Capital Market Supervisory Agency. Capital Market Supervisory Agency. Any more question? Any more question? Yes, sir. I just want to ask, uh, why do you support Liverpool? <laughs> I like Liverpool since then. You know, in, in 2005, when Liverpool versus Milan at a time in, you know, where? Well, I was, um, I have no, I had no choice because at a time Liverpool scores, sorry, Milan scores 3 3, three zero, and in, in their half time, and then, um, there was tie, three three, and you know, um, there was a golden goal, and Milan was defeated by Liverpool at the time. But in two thousand seven, Liverpool was defeated by Milan. You know. <laughs> at a time and this the scorer at a time were Insagi, Kaka and Pirlo I guess Andrea Pirlo it is exemplary Grazia e.g. exemplary Grazia for example environmental law environmental law is also a public law and i have told you before that also capital market law and many other laws consumer protection law any more question
I think we discuss later about private law. It would be better that um, we stop discussing today. And I see you tomorrow for introduction to Indonesian law. Okay. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, bro. Thank you. Okay. okay. See you tomorrow, bro. See you tomorrow, bro. Have a nice day. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Bro. Thank you. You never walk alone. Thank you. <laughs>